Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today I'm going to show you how we do water changes on four tanks at once, the equipment we use and just how easy it is to be able to do that. I do realize not everybody is in the same situation as us, but the principles do apply and it might help you if you've got more than one tank to be able to do maybe two or three at once. So let's take a quick look at the tanks that we're going to change and then I'll show you how we go about and do it. Before I start I do want to say I apologize for the glare on the tanks and also anything that you see in the tanks I will try and leave links to in the description box below. So we're going to be doing a water change on this 20 gallon long. We're also going to be doing one on Belfin's tank which is also a 20 gallon long and as you can see he is well up for the camera being in his face also we're going to do a water change on this one here and this is a 20 gallon long this in theory is two tanks so it's like doing five tanks because this one is completely separate we actually silicone the dividers in and so this tank here is two completely separate tanks. This is our shrimp tanks. And then the final one is this 10 gallon shrimp and snail tank here. So these are the ones that we're going to do. On most of the tanks, we do about 50%. On this one here, we do 50. On these here, we do about 30%. On Belfin's tank he gets 50% and then this one here gets between 30 and 40%. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what we use. So this is what I use and I know it looks like a jumbled up mess but this is what we use and I do have them tagged so that we know what to use in which tank so that we use the same one each time and that helps with cross contamination but this is predominantly what we use and I'll get it all up and running and then I'll explain the process as we do that. So I set the siphons out in front of the tank and I have the other ones up there and then I set it going. Now I normally would do these on my own, my son would do them or my husband would do them. For the purpose of this video I am going obviously to have help so that I can video and show you what we do. As you saw it's very very easy to get the siphon going and in Belfin's tank all we do is just quickly go over the gravel um, in, actually it's not gravel it is sand in this tank we just very quickly go through it because he does kick it up so we don't really need to do that we are testing a piece of the grass in here that we have in the 125 gallon as well and so far it's holding up and he seems to actually really really like it those pieces that just went up and out were actually some chewed up moss balls he loves to destroy moss balls so on his tank he does have the sponge filter at the back there but then he also has this small hang on the back filter we did this just for added filtration and so we always do clean this one because it gets clogged very very easily very quickly so about every two weeks we clean that one up and make sure that it's fully functioning otherwise it does have the tendency to get clogged up and then it will overflow so it's really easy to take out all we do is lift it straight out of the casing and into a jug and then we just use the water to clean them off and it really is that simple for cleaning that filter it does clean very very quickly so once Belfin's filter is done I then start draining the other tanks I guess really you could do it the other way around but for us this one drains pretty quickly as you can see it's almost to where we want it to be so we do have to do the filter if we're cleaning it before setting everything else going and then we've got one draining in this one one in this one and then one also in this one i do prefer the mini python siphons these are the ones that we do sell on our website and the reason for that is they don't have a massive amount of suction 
they do have more than enough but they don't have a huge amount and so with the tanks with particularly with sand then it's not sucking all the sand up it is literally just sucking up what you want it to also with there being shrimp in here i can also quickly clamp it off i've not got it whizzing up the tube and there's nothing i can do to stop it so this one is a really really good option and as you can see i mean it does clean the tank very well with sand tanks you must make sure that you do move the sand around that is very important now the flow is going to make a difference if the drop is much more which for us the drop is not huge into the sink so it probably would flow a little faster if there was more of a drop but there isn't for us so while they're all draining to fill the tank back up i prepare a bucket of water with the prime water conditioner which i have already added to it we have a pond pump in here and then we have a piece of tubing that we then put into the tank that we're filling up and then we put this container in and we clip the tubing into the bucket all that does is help not displace the substrate while this tank is filling up if there's any algae which you can see on this one there is i will then go ahead with the magnet scraper and also with the toothbrush uh, if it's very close to the uh, gravel or substrate and i will then go over it with the toothbrush and also with this i only usually do that about every uh, other clean I don't do it every clean so this one is a little overdue because in Belfin's tank we usually do get a fair bit of algae but as you can see the toothbrush easily takes care of it and it doesn't take too much effort to do that so while the other tanks are still draining which is what's happening they're still draining it's one of the other reasons I do like the smaller tubes because then the water, like I say, isn't rushing out and I don't have to worry too much. In fact, you can see there that, if it will focus, there is actually a shrimp on the rim and you can see that it hasn't been sucked up. So that sort of just shows you the level of suction that there actually is. So the pump pump works by taking the water out of the bucket and putting it into the tank so there's no lugging buckets and you can have this tube as long as you want we just bought this off amazon i will leave links to these we do actually do a lot of these through our affiliate links uh, people find that it works really really well now obviously you need the water running into the bucket which i will turn on now which means you're not going to be able to hear me but that's how it works you just keep this running and then i just go along all the tanks and fill them back up so when emptying or filling the tanks you can get tubing to basically any length so in some of our tanks we actually send the water out the front door we do our 75 gallon the water goes out the window and that basically is because we've bought tubing and we've added it to the python siphon so that the tubing's then a lot longer that it will reach to a much more convenient place so this makes it so much easier especially with so many tanks that we then don't have to lug buckets backwards and forwards and once they're empty we then like I say use the pond pump and then that just fills them back up and we do have several of these and several buckets so we can then just use these to fill the tanks when Belfins is done then I just basically follow the same process with all the tanks in reality they take literally about three to four minutes to fill if that actually and while usually I can do Belfin's tank, which obviously now is not looking too good until it all clears, but I can usually do Belfin's tank and get this one filled before the other two have finished uh, siphoning out. And then I will then also move on to those. So the reality for doing all this is, is about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. And like I say, I usually will do it on my own or my son will do it on his own or my husband as well. So it really is that simple to do. We do make sure that with the siphons that they've all got separate siphons. However, for the water going back in, then it goes back in using the same tubing. But we've been doing that for, I think it's almost three, maybe four years. And it's just never been a problem for us. 
So once the other divided one is done, I then just move them along to the different tanks and fill them up. So as you can see, this one is filling up pretty quickly and with the divider in, you can see that it is a fully sealed tank because now we have the two different water levels. So that's how we're sure that we've got it fully sealed so that uh, we're trying to get sort of reds only on the left side and blues on the right we have actually got several buried females in the blues so very very pleased about that so as you can see this side filled up in no time at all it was literally about two minutes the one thing i just want to keep make sure i say that you do need to make sure that you keep adding prime in with each new tank that you go into so I hope that all made sense. It was quite difficult to film it while actually doing it in the sequence that I would normally do the water changes in. But bottom line is you just need several siphons. If the siphons aren't long enough to reach whatever you need to drain the water to, then obviously you need the extra tubing and then you need the pom pump and obviously tubing to then go with that. We usually use the pom pump within the sink and we also use one in the bath as well. And then that fills the 125 gallon. And when we empty the 125 gallon, the water goes from the tank out the door and we sort of water the lawns and the um, pots and everything that we've got out there. So that also is great because it can do that as well. So if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments box below. And like I said, I will leave links to everything that I can in the description box. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.